So you've come across a tree, a shrub, a grass, a bush, a vine, a flower, a weed, a sedge, a, fern, a, bulb, a reed, a plant. And whether it's one you've passed by every day or something entirely new, today you take an extra second and wonder, what the heck am I looking at? First, naturalists look at the entire plant. This helps us know what type of plant we're working with. Still, specific identification may be a challenge, so let's get closer. Notice the leaves. How are they shaped? Are the tops and bottoms different? Does the plant have any flowers, fruits, or seeds? Are the details within the bark of interest? How does each leaf connect to the stem? Does it have a smell? These details can help you and others figure out exactly which species you're looking at, but they can also do a lot more. Zoom out, and you can learn about the plant's relationship with its environment. Maybe you'll see signs of plant-animal interactions, like the trails of leaf-mining insects, evidence of the ecological connections that make up ecosystems. Or you'll notice the soil that the plant's growing in, whether it's wet, dry, loose, compact, sandy, or loamy. What conditions does this plant thrive in? Does the plant flower? When does it bloom? What pollinates it? And how does it spread its seeds? Diving into these details, you might even find an entirely new organism. Something like this, uh, insidious flower bug. Okay. <laughs> and of course you're still curious, so ask questions about the plant. Seek answers. Share what you notice with other people. The more you connect with this plant, the more you learn about your natural world. And the more you know about the natural world, the more you understand your place in it. Whoa. Self-actualization. All because of a plant. Congratulations. You're a naturalist now. Take two steps, see another plant, and repeat. Good luck getting anywhere fast, though. <laughs>